Right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Right for another video. So today we're at a place called uh, we're in a place called um, in between New Hay and Shaw. Um, a place called Jubilee Colliery. Uh, this place is absolutely fantastic. A lot of it's just ruins today. There is a mill just at the far side of the colliery. Uh, so Mum's on the GoPro today. I'm on the new Canon today. So hopefully, like today's video, uh, we'll get a few get a few photos for you, and yeah, and um, yeah, just standing on one of one of the existing buildings right now. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to see here, um, and yeah, it's uh, quite special. So yeah, hopefully, you like today's video, smash the like and subscribe. The Jubilee Inn pictured on the right here in 1900 and the Jubilee Bend going towards Rochdale to the left was raised above the new railway line in 1863 and the Jubilee Pub was also rebuilt at this time. So early photos show here of Jubilee Colliery in 1893 and in 1900 and it was founded in 1845 to gain access to Mountain Mine Coal Seam, 325 feet or 99 metres below the surface, originally owned by the Edge Lane and Dry Clough Colliery Company. The colliery was bought in 1883 by Platt Brothers and Company Limited since the coal was ideal for producing coke for use in company's ironworks in Oldham, where 500 tonnes per week were used in 1900.
so a battery of 26 double back-to-back -back ovens was subsequently erected immediately to the north of a presumably contemporary boiler house in the 1880s, with a further extension of similar size to the north in the early 20th century. Another battery of single ovens were also built along the eastern retaining wall in the north part of the site which was partially extended between 1909 and 1930 into a double bank. The remains of a, num of a number of back-to-back -back ovens can be still viewed above the ground at Jubilee Colliery. So a picture shown here is a similar bank of a beehive cork ovens as they would have looked before demolition. So as you can see here, this is the, the boiler house during the 2014 excavation. A trench was dug 10 metres by 10 metres and revealed well preserved remains compromising several floor surfaces of handmade mould thrown bricks. Pictures shown here are of Jubilee Colliery shortly after closure in 1932. You can see the boiler house missing its roof and the bank of the coke ovens to the left of the photo. Many of the buildings were demolished following its closure and the abandoned site was left to be reclaimed by nature.
seeing our welders. Many thanks to the friends of Jubilee Colliery for giving me permission to use some of their old photos in today's video. Thank you. If you enjoyed today's video, click the subscribe button, tap the notification bell to never miss a future upload. Thanks for watching, see you next week.